Hi everyone and welcome back in a new video. Today, as a proper Italian, I'm cooking spaghetti with tomato sauce to shoot an incredible picture for this amazing brand made in UK. If you don't know me, my name is Marco, I'm an Italian photographer based in London. Here on my channel I share lots of videos about photography and images retouch. So please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and also don't forget to hit the thumb up to support my channel. Follow me on social media, you can find useful link down below in the description. So now let's start setting up and cooking. First of all, I set up the light. Today I'm using 3 Godox AD 400 Pro. The main light at the front is diffused through a 65cm soft box with a grid at the front. The grid is helping to direct the light only on the subject. The secondary light is positioned at the back with a 30 degree honeycomb grid on a reflector, allowing for a harsh and well-defined light without affecting the rest of the scene. The light at the back will give contrast and a more natural light in place of the gradient I'll create in Photoshop. The camera I'm using is a Sony A7 IV with a 24-70mm lens. I'll shoot with a focal length between 35 and 50mm, aperture 13. After evaluating the exposure on the product, I photographed all the necessary parts, starting with the lid, finding the right angle to complete the sense of explosion I wanted. Now it's time to shoot the cherry tomatoes in various position, which won't be used as I already captured several ones during the final shot, and finally the basil leaves, also in different position, holding them with the wooden skewers. Once the spaghetti were ready, so repeat with me, spaghetti, so easy. It was time for the most fun part. It is important not to completely cook them, otherwise they stick together due to the gluten forming when moving in the pan. I wanted them to fly, but not too much and capturing the perfect shot was challenging. I was using a remote control that was working fine, but halfway through it stopped working, forcing me to shoot directly on camera, but it doesn't matter. Round after round, I made sure to get the right shot, then continued cooking the pasta with some cooking water left, before eating it. Delicious. I only realized off camera I forgot to shoot the wooden spatula provided with the pan, which I then retrieved at the end. Now, my favorite part, time to edit and retouch this photo. In Capture 1, I selected the best shot with just a touch of editing to increase contrast, clarity and color vibrancy. Then I opened all the selected images in Photoshop in a single document, creating a first composition to remove all the unnecessary parts. I aligned and composed the shot of the pan handle, then created a gradient at the back, which I'll color at the end. I added the wooden spatula, took some random cherry tomatoes from the other shots, and then the basil leaves. Here comes the lid too. For final editing, I slightly emphasized colors, and then added a touch of dodge and burn to everything, then colored the backdrop with a pastel green sampled from the color of the pan itself. So this is the final image, let me know down below in the description if you like spaghetti and if you liked this video. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the thumb up and follow me on social media, every link is down in the description. I'll see you in the next video, ciao!